Hey everyone, welcome back to AFTV. We've got another live show here. It's five o'clock in the UK, but we know we get all you fans from around the world. So thank you for joining us. I'm here with Robbie because, <laughs> okay. So obviously Turkish and Cecil had their opportunity to chat about the Basuma stuff yesterday. Um, Turkish, I think more in your camp. He's not happy with what's going on. It wasn't just, I, I watched the show. It wasn't that he was missing out on Basuma. It was more Arsenal once again, making a slow start, Spurs getting signings in and good signings in early. But even before Basuma was ever linked to Spurs, you wanted this deal done. You wanted Basuma to come to Arsenal. You've been talking about him really for a year. Even last summer you're looking at him. I'm on the camp. Maybe I don't care is a bit strong. But I'm not bothered about I'm not bothered about us not picking him up from Brighton. Twenty five million. I know he'd been linked before, but you're not happy, are you? First of all, disclaimer, people, yeah? When it says, I don't care that we didn't sign Basuma, that's him, not me, right? I do care, right? I'm still absolutely, honestly, I'm angry about it. I don't think it's been, no, I don't think it's a good move by us. I, I, I look at Yves Basuma, and you're going to tell me otherwise, and you're going to prove to me why. <laughs> but for me, he would have been absolutely perfect for Arsenal Football Club. One of the things that we've been lacking over the years, I feel, and this is like going back to the days of Arsene Wenger, we don't have that holding midfielder, that player that can sit in front of the back four, act as a screen, help them out, break down the attacks, break down the lines. We don't have that player. Tom we don't have to. No, I don't, I don't think he's that. But I think Thomas Partey is a box-to-box -box midfielder. I think Basuma is a defensive midfielder who he knows his role. His role is to protect the back four, break up the play, and then, you know, he can, you know, help to build up attacks. And even if you've got Thomas Partey, mm. even if that is the case, yeah, you know, that was lovely at the end of the season, isn't it? When he was missing, so you still need a good squad, and I, I, I'm just not sorry. I, I'm I'm not with you on this at all. I'm not with you on this at all, James. I think it's a bad move by Arsenal. Um, I you know I saw a couple of Spurs fans today. They're loving it. Yeah, he's a great they, they're signing. Loving for it. Them. They're like, what a signing we've made. Yes, Conte's on the charge. Yeah, Arsenal, and and, and I mean we, we're paying the price for missing out on the on, on the top four. Mm -hmm. But even if we even if we had made a top four, I don't believe that Arsenal have really ever been really in for Basuma. Because you even remember a couple of weeks ago when I first started doing transfer daily, Basuma was even making sounds like he was retweeting things, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. reposting things, sort of sending a message to Arsenal saying, "Come and get me." Mm -hmm. But we ain't come and got him. Okay, so that's your pitch. Here's my pitch, and we'll have it out. My thing about Basuma, would I like him in this current Arsenal squad? Yeah, I would. Because I think he could be, I think he could add depth in Partey's position, but that's where I think he'd play. Now, you've got to remember that I'm thinking, you can have a whole other debate about whether we have Arteta, we change our formation, we change our system. But we've had two and a half years of Arteta, we know who he wants to play. One holding midfielder, everything plays through him. And Partey's that guy. That is his guy. He spent 45 million on him. He's played that position whenever he's been fit. So if everyone's fit and firing, you're then saying, well, then Basuma is going to have to play either side of Partey in that midfield three. And he doesn't do that role. Basuma, I think, is better on the ball than people give him credit for. I think he's got something going forward. And I will reiterate, I think he's a very good player. I think he's a bargain at 25 million. And I think he's perfect for Spurs and Conte. But for what we need to do when we've got a limited budget, and by limited, even if you're talking about 150 million, you're going to spend that quite quickly before you're talking about adding depth to Thomas Partey. I just don't think he's a priority. So, listen, I hate to see Spurs improving. They've had some, I think Perisic is a good signing. Spence will be. I like Basuma. I'm not taking anything away from Spurs. They're, they're doing great stuff. And that hurts. That's the bit that gets to me, that we're not doing our thing. But purely on Basuma... I'm, I'm not as bothered. Okay, yeah, it's a shame. And in an ideal world, you've got a, you've got a starting player as a backup to your actual starting player. But I don't think Basuma was a priority. Twenty five million pounds. But that's twenty five million less elsewhere. Absolute steal. Do you want Rafinha? An absolute. Yeah, I would love Rafinha. So what if we got fifty million for Rafinha, but they want sixty? Oh, but we spent twenty five of it on Basuma. Then go and sell somebody or sell Granite Xhaka. 
I mean, no, okay. I'm being serious. Sell Granite Xhaka and buy Basuma. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll Granite Xhaka wanted it. to go last season, right? Granite Xhaka is also a player that plays in that position. And and listen, no disrespect to Granite Xhaka. He had a good season last year for Arsenal, mm. apart from the red cards, right? But I'd rather Basuma because I think yeah, Basuma I is more expert in that role. I've listened to all this talk before about, oh, he doesn't progress the ball well enough and all this sort of stuff. Listen, we have needed a holding midfielder for ages and sometimes in games, James, mm -hmm. I disagree with you. Sometimes in games, you do need two there. Uh, you listen, need two I there when you're playing against Liverpool or you're playing against Man yeah. City, you could do with two players there sitting in the midfield. I Why agree. not? I agree with you. Like I said, I agree in principle, you can go two holding midfielders with Partey and Basuma, but... But surely we'd be on the fact that we Arteta's staying, right? Yeah. So, so surely we've got to think about what Arteta's likely to do. And well, he needs to change it up a bit. He needs to. He needs to be. This is why. You know what I mean? We look how easy we were to score against against Newcastle. Look mm. how easy we were to score against. You know, against Tottenham. But right? I don't we, think right through our midfield. And, you I know what I mean? Yeah. These guys like you know, um, Xhaka, Mohamed El Neni, they're all right. But if we're going to get into the top four and beyond, we need to improve the team. We need to improve the squad. Next season, we are allowed five substitutions. That is a law that's coming in. From now on, mm -hmm. every team in the Premier League is allowed five substitutions, right? That has been made into law, mm -hmm. right? That, again, tells you, have a strong squad. Have multiple players in certain positions because you're going to need it. Mm -hmm. It's a World Cup year, yeah. right? He's playing for Mali. Mali ain't in the World Cup. Granit Xhaka is going to the World Cup. Thomas Partey is going to the World Cup. Yeah. Right. Um, no, El Nini's not going to the World Cup because Egypt didn't make it. Right. But mm -hmm. they're going to the World Cup. If we get Tielemans, he will go to the World Cup. Having somebody like Basuma, who could then, when the World Cup's finished, be straight into that midfield, perfect. Yeah. Perfect for me. You know, Sambi Lakonga is not a holding midfielder. I've seen him play there. He's not a holding midfielder. When he was playing at Anderlecht, he was a box-to-box -box midfielder. And I agree now with that. Now we're playing him as a holding midfielder. So why, so, so why are we playing him as a holding midfielder? We can go and get one, an expert one, Premier League ready, ready right now, who can fit into that role. We've made a blunder here, in my view. You, you mentioned the Newcastle game. And I think, like, I think that's a really good example. We were completely overrunning midfield. We had no power. We, we couldn't live with them. Sure, but I don't think Arteta's... I'm going to go through some super chats. They're flying in, guys. I don't want to miss them. But I don't think Arteta's solution to that is let's add more strength and match them physically. I think it's add more ball players so that we got more of the ball. We dominate. I don't think his thinking is, oh my God, they, they've physically outbeat us. So we've got to kind of rise to that. I think it's keep the ball more. Be better in possession. The best teams, Chase them more. The best teams have a good holding midfielder. Is Partey not a good holding right? midfielder? He's not a holding midfielder. In my he is, view, he is for a, Arsenal. He's a box to box midfielder. Man City got a Rodri. They're even talking about trying to get Calvin Phillips in, another holding midfielder, isn't he? Defensive midfielder, Calvin Phillips. Rodri is a defensive midfielder. Fabinho at Liverpool, defensive midfielder. One of the best in the business. Partey Kovacic, is that for us. Kovacic. And um, and uh, Kante at Chelsea. Who are we? Not the same. They're not defensive midfielders. Can, well, Kante's sort of box. He's a ball winner, but he's kind of more box to box. I get what you mean. He's that he's, kind of. His best role midfielder. is when he plays as the defensive midfielder. I same not sure same, about that. same same with Kovacic. No, but they're more right? of a midfield too with three behind them. Who have we them. got? The, the most comparable are Liverpool and City, who both play four three three. Fine. Thomas Partey Fabinho. sits. Fabinho, world class player. Rodri, world class player. Partey, unfortunately, with injuries and not as maybe not as good as them either. Well, he's not as good as them. But when he's at his best, Thomas Partey can absolutely compete as the holding midfielder. When we played City at home, I know we lost. I know we lost. When we played City at home and for 55, 60 minutes of that game, we were the better team. We had more of the ball. We weren't crying for a holding midfielder then. Partey was doing his thing. Mm. How did he do against Newcastle? He wasn't okay. He wasn't fit. Yeah, exactly. He won't play. So why? Because, you, so that's why. Even, so why do you offer on any new if, deal? Even if right, the point you're making right, we still lack depth. So we should still that if, I agree with. Tottenham have that got, I agree Tottenham with. Tottenham have got in that position. They got Hoiberg. Yeah. They got Bentoncourt. Yeah. They got Skip that kid who can, um who can play in that role as well as a deep lying mm -hmm. holding player. And they've still gone and got Basuma. Listen, they play three at the back, and they've got more industrious central midfielders. 
that's not what Arsenal are trying to do. Let me, but well, why, let me ask you this. Actually, let's go through Super Chats. I do have a question for you. Benny with Super Chats says, I don't get the hype on Basuma. Why not go after Calvin Phillips or maybe a Tyler Adams who's also available? Only thing I'm upset about is he's at Spurs. I'll I tell, agree. I'll That's tell the you, thing no, no, for no, me. No, Benny, I'll tell you He's what, gone for Spurs. I'll tell you, and Benny he must be laughing, right, because he's a big USA fan. And after, after seeing England play in the last few games, Ben, I don't know, I might have to... I think we had a fifty pound bet. I might have to recall that bet after watching <laughs> um, England against Denmark yeah, last yeah, night. But back. Benny, right? The difference is this: Calvin Phillips was cost about sixty million pounds plus because Man City are trying to buy him at the moment, and it'd be very difficult to get out of his club. Basuma, one year left on his contract, twenty-five, or they said maybe rising to thirty million. A steal, gettable, doable, get it done. I said I don't agree with that. You're comparing it to a player in Calvin Phillips that arguably is not better in that position. I think they're comparable. I, I do like Calvin Phillips, by the way, and I'd love to see a player like that Arsenal. But it would be a very expensive and very difficult deal to do. Yeah, good player. Again, I, I wouldn't think he's a priority, but I like Calvin Phillips. Uh, Ebole says, don't you think the fact we didn't buy him means his court... Oh, it's disappeared. He was asked about the court, case, court still case hanging is over still him. hanging over him. But Love I don't think Nigeria. that's the reason... Look, like, now, now, listen, to yeah, I've, I've heard about the, the, the court... For people who don't know, he's got this sort of uh, sexual assault court case hanging over him. It's him and another guy. Um, now, I'm sure... Tottenham have taken that into account. From what I understood when I read about it, that case is all, it's going to be sorted out this month. So I'm sure there's something in there that takes that into account. But they've still been decisive. If, if the court case goes against him and he gets locked up, I'm sure they'll have something in there that just cancels it all out, uh, you know? So, you know, Daniel Levy's not an idiot, is he? So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, we don't know the details of what's going on. I think Spurs have got him because they acted quickly and 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 they they wanted him and they got it done. Decisive. Um, yeah, absolutely. Owen says uh, for the title <laughs> for the title of this video, it's either you're starving for content or James is deluded. Only two options. Can it be James. both? Can it be both? James. <laughs> uh, deluded. We, we've been debating this deluded. all day. To be fair, so we thought we'd take it to here. Yeah. Uh, Rasha said to James. Um, Vanish Voldemort seating. Sitting next to me. Uh -huh. Sitting left into you. That must be me. Oh, is he calling you Voldemort? <laughs> uh, black Ch Voldemort, am I? Chaitanya says, uh, people are missing the point. He's a quality player going to a direct rival under an elite manager. The league is getting tougher and we are falling back. How are we going to compete? That I agree with. Yeah. So we should, but, so we should sign a player. You don't care then. No. So you don't care. I didn't say I don't care that Spurs are signing him. I said I don't care that we're... So we should sign a player because we don't want Spurs to get them. No. We should sign that player because we could do with that player. We could do with Basuma cool. more than Spurs. What do you think our budget is? More than Spurs. I don't know what the budget is, man. I don't even know what these... I mean, you don't okay, know... Okay, roughly. 120, 150? I mean, that's the a good budget, summer. The, the, the budget should be at least 150 million. Okay. So if 25, if 25 goes on Basuma, how are you addressing the fact that you want two strikers, you probably want a wide player as well, you probably want a creative midfielder, we need a fullback. How are you addressing all those positions with 125 million left? Yeah, it could go. Tight. Listen. We'll be bringing, you won't be bringing the, great look, players. Look at, look at a lot of the players that Arsenal are linked with at the moment, right? All right. I, I, if, if, I, if I look on it, let me get my calculator out. Give me a, give me a chance. Give me a, give me a moment. Let me see if I can work something based <laughs> off of 150. <laughs> we're going to be called accountants. Let me just right. address this we, super we, chat as while usual, you're As usual, that is. We are, yeah, we we're are accountants. accountants. Just very quickly from Trav Super Chat. James, how can you not be bothered about Spurs signing Basuma? Time to wake up and smell the coffee. Arsenal are finished. Travis, thank you for your super chat. But do me a favour and read the title. I didn't say I don't care Spurs are signing him. I'm very worried about the business Spurs are doing. I think they're doing great business. I think it's going to be fantastic for them. I'm saying I'm not too bothered that we didn't sign him. The big, big difference. You're up with your calculator. All right, do a couple more super chats here. Was it Hadi here says we need more creative midfielders? Uh, we have Partey, Xhaka, El Nini, White, Saliba can fill in. Also, um, he subs Arsenal and starting eleven. Keep the money for Nkunku, Nkunku, Nkunku. Sorry, we to them, oh, we? Nkunku, Ganabri. Yeah, which at the moment we're not looking like we're going to get. Listen, um, when have you seen Ben White play as a defensive midfielder? He didn't play that, you know, despite uh, shortages in midfield, wasn't played at all in that role last year. Elneny, Xhaka, 
they played holding midfielder or various roles against Newcastle, against um, Tottenham. What were the scores? Where did we end up fifth? We need to improve in these areas. Um, GMS Faith um, says, uh, big up yourselves. Just wanted to point out that Eddie and Bukayo have the same agent. So it's good news because the agent is in Arsenal's pocket. So negotiations um, won't be that Eddie is on 100k, I want X, Y, Z. We, we, we get the Eddie deal done. Um, Pritesh says, what about using Torreira in that position? Forget that. Torreira wants to leave Arsenal. Torreira's yeah, we'll never been happy well. at Arsenal. Forget that. Forget we need to improve in that area. Um, Eric says, James, um, just watch... Ooh, wait a minute. It disappeared. James, just watch Brighton versus Chelsea. Man United, City, Liverpool, West Ham, Arsenal. Basuma run those games. The guy's a monster. 25 million, what a miss. I remember, probably this is one of the reasons why they signed him as well. When Brighton played Tottenham, they just put Basuma on Harry Kane, he marked him out of the game, and they ended up winning it at he's, White he's Lane. He's a class player. He's a class player. Right. He's a um, class player. Red Scare says, reminds me of when we could have got Kante and stubborn Wenger went and spent more on Xhaka. We will, we will talk of a missed opportunity for, in four seasons to come. Uh, Monty says, James backtracks more than a prime than Michael Jackson. <laughs> he says, also okay. Zinchenko to replace Xhaka. Um, CM that provides cover at left back. We can't keep cutting corners. Um, BC says a, a good 8 out of 10 transfer window for me circa 150k Turner 5 million Hickey 20 Zinchenko 20 Tiedemann's 25 Gnabry 35 <laughs> that's blown out of the window you're not getting Gnabry for 35 Jesus 40 um, Travis having a go at you James looking like a professor and um, I can't see that other one but let me see if I can go through my calculations now Tiedemann's yeah we're looking to get how much do you reckon? 25 million, probably. Let's go low on these to give you a right. chance. Jesus. Jesus. 45, if, we, if, if City are nice. Then who do we want? It's your, it's your uh, transfer window. Hickey or Zinchenko? I mean, you're talking. 20 million for either of those two, isn't it? An average of 20. I mean, Zinchenko maybe 25, 30, but yeah, cool. But, right? Yeah. And uh, Rafinha? That's the thing. I would have thought 50 to 60. What do you think? All right, we go 50. That's 140 million. Yeah. Yeah? That's 140 million. That's and, a lot of money. Right? 140 million. But we ain't used up the, uh, the old one, whole 150. Right? Yeah, true. And Basuma on top of that for 25, right? That takes yeah. up to 165. Yeah. But there's players we can sell. We're going to sell Bellerin. We're going to sell Torreira, right? Yeah. We're going to sell Bern Leno, right? And they're yeah. also, those are some of those players that are high earners. We're going to sell Ainsley um, Maitland Niles. What? Why can't we get that? Nah, no, you know what? Now what? I've done that, I've got even more mad. What? <laughs> and they're probably not even going to get Rafinha or, I, I don't know, I'm hopeful. I think the, the, the rumours around Rafinha are true. Um, whether we get him or not is another matter. We know that he really wants to go to Barcelona, but why not? James, you give me, I mean, you, you asked me for the calculations, look. Yeah, it took you to 140 million. And do we think Arsenal are actually going to spend another 150 this summer? If they do, They have great. to. Absolutely, they have to. They have to. This, okay, but Robbie, if this is a discussion about we need new owners, we need a new recruitment team, we need no, a new manager and a new team, then sure, new I'm owners. going, yeah, bring in Basuma because he's a quality player and we'll make it work. We'll play two holding midfielders. Maybe we'll go to bat three. Basuma and Partick can form a good partnership formation. If that's, if that's what we're saying we want to happen, cool, I can get on board with that. I'm, I'd, I'd like that. But if you're talking... What are, we, what are we just going to have to accept? What are we just going to have to accept? That the Cronkies are here this summer, that Edu's doing the recruitment, and that Arteta's the manager. That's happening this summer, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, well, what does Arteta want? What does Arteta need for the football he's been playing? He needs a Yuri Tielemann much more than he needs a Basuma. Now, sure, you could do both. But then let me ask you, why, why do we give Elneny a new deal? I know you, you wanted to give Elneny a new one-year deal. Back why? Up. So you want to, so it's back up to the backup. So you want no, Partey, no, that's, that's, Basuma, that's Elneny. Back. General backup in the midfield. Because to we play get, where? Because we get so many injuries. And I just told you, 
five subs this season. Five substitutions, that's going to make a big difference. Not just I actually, agree with that. Actually, not just this season, from now on. So that's team, a new rule in football. Yeah. Five subs. Every team is allowed to bring on five substitutions. So, of course, uh, you, you need quality in all areas. So, if so Tielemann came... Sorry, sorry to cut you, James. Players are going to get a lot more game time yeah. than they used to. Yeah, I agree with that. But if Tielemann came through the door, which yeah. is looking like it's going to happen, who's in midfield three then? Listen, I'm not picking them, and I'm making sure I've got a good enough squad. You know, I mean, the Man City talk like that. The Man City say, "Oh, well, kind of." Well, you know, what are we going to do? You know, what I mean, uh, it's a na, myth. Na, it's na, a myth na, that Man City have a massive you know, squad. Na, now that we brought in, um, you know, Alvarez, where's he going to play? Oh, I mean, you know, what Sterling, about Morris? They're selling Jesus because right? they bought in Haaland. Right, that's one player. Right, but, but, but look in, in every position, they don't turn around and say, "Boy, you know." What, what, what are we going to say to Raheem Sterling? You know, we've got Phil Foden. Right. Oh, Jesus. What, what, you know, I don't know, man. What, what, what are we going to go and say to Raheem Sterling? Because we're, we're bringing in, um, you know, we're bringing in um, Grealish. How Robbie. are we going to talk to him? They just go and get it done because they want to have the best squad so that they can compete on all fronts. We've got European football. You, you're comparing it. You're comparing a lot of it to last season when we only had no Premier League games. This season, we're going to have Europa League. We're going to have Premier League. We're going to have, hopefully, the FA Cup run. We've got the, uh, the uh, World Cup dropping right in the middle of the season. You saw what yeah. Arsenal were like when we came back after that international break. Yeah. We lost three games in a row. We, there was players that came back. They looked flat. You need a good squad. Simple as. Yeah, I agree with that. And especially with our players, like a Thomas Partey, who's been injured since he's come. No, no. Would I'm you have made? I, I, you don't care. I care. Would you? Have, I care. Man. Would you have made? It's not okay. It's a bit strong. It's not that I don't care. My my. No, you don't care. Don't, my, like, my that frustration. Guy said, don't, don't, like that guy said, don't backtrack on it now. You said you <laughs> don't Michael care. Jackson, apparently. You, yeah, you, um, you, are you doing your Michael Jackson moves again? My frustration <laughs> is that he's going to Tottenham. My frustration is that they're, they're doing business quicker than us. They're and getting then, players through uh, the door and, and they're improving now. their team. That, for me, that's the bit that hurts, is watching them get it done, adding quality players, and their 11 clearly getting better. They've got, the they got the wing backs they want, Spence and Perisic. That was one of the big problems. You speak to people like Toby, Tottenham fan, and others, they say their wing backs are poor, but now they've added quality there. They brought in Basuma, they're looking for a centre back. It looks like Richarlison is going to add depth to the front three now that I, I've got a round of applause so people saying salty in the comment section or whatever it's nothing against Spurs I think they're doing unbelievable business and I'm very envious yeah, well, and jealous I don't, of it I mean I don't but want to hear I'm about them but I'm doing Arsenal. unbelievable business what about us Right, yeah, and would I'm you saying, want to lie about the situation? They're doing better no, business no, they're than doing us they're being No they're yeah. doing good business but yeah. I'm saying that that's a player who said come and get me Yeah he did say I Come and that. get me Arsenal come and get me He man's People are tweeting things and that he's reposting it, retweeting it. Come and get me. Yeah. We, but, we ain't even we, we, we're like. But we're doing. Nah, we're man, doing. Nah. We're not. We're, and we're, not only that, it's a player that would be perfect for Arsenal. I don't agree with you, James. He would be perfect. If I don't we get sign Tiedemann, it's perfect. We need. We've not had a holding midfield. He says. So does he start? So if Partey, Tiedemann, some, Odegaard are I all think fit, some games does he, he would. I think some, some. games. Yeah, but I he's think perfect, a lot of them, so surely all of them. I think a lot of games he'd start. I think if we're playing, I think if we're playing against certain teams like Man City, yeah. Liverpool, Chelsea, he starts. Okay, again, he starts for me. Yes. If you said to me, would you like Antonio Conte's manager with Basuma and a back three and all these things, blah blah, blah that you have tried and tested, I've seen his win, all these things, then that's a wider context. That yeah, sure, I can get on board of, but I've got to just accept Arteta's here. They're trying to sign Arteta players and they're trying to get him what he wants for, for the upcoming season, to play the way he wants. The Basuma would only play in Partey's position. He'd the only play in the Partey's Arteta position. Arteta players so far have been good enough to get us to fifth. Yeah, well, right? sure. well, then we sack the manager. We want to get beyond that. So now it's not about sacking the manager. It's about improving the squad. So you don't want to give him the profile of players he wants. You just want to give him Basuma. Well, you know, listen, it's down to him. I'm not the manager. I'm no, of course, I'm yeah. just giving you my opinion. Yeah. Of course, it's down to Mikel Arteta. And but maybe, that's how I'm you know what I mean? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm going to end up looking stupid. Right? That they're going to, by the end of the summer, I'm going to look back at the signings and say, oh, that's why. Mm. Oh, Arteta. Well, look. I, sorry. Sorry, man. I, <laughs> I, I jumped the gun. I got too excited. But at this moment in time, Mm. And a lot of it is, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying is true. I'm frustrated. 
Yeah, of course. Even yeah, guys me like too. look at look. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm sure you won't mind me doing this, right? But Graham. Yeah. Right, and you, you you do the show with Graham. Yeah, he really wanted right? Basuma. We, and, we did a section with him. And Graham, actually. who's normally you know mm. a quite uh, you know he's, he he doesn't fly off with these sort no, of things. Yeah, yeah. He sent me this this he sent me this um this text yesterday, right? And I'm sure Graham won't mind me reading this out to everybody, right? So he says, "We're a big club, but simply not run like a big club. No ambition. You can carry on um like that for only for so long." Those running the club are sleeping as we drift. As soon and and soon we will be drifting into mediocrity or oblivion. He says we are doing normal things while City, Liverpool, and Spurs are getting their business done. Basuma for twenty five million? Wow! Why weren't we in for him? I'm losing faith. That's Graham. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I respect his opinion. I respect your opinion. What? We we did I a agree with his opinion. we did a whole show about what Arsenal needed on tactical insight. Go check it out. Um, and when it came to the Basuma section, I did say, listen, if we've got the money, if we can do it, yeah, absolutely. But I see him more as the kind of future heir to Partey, somebody who can come in because you don't want. I agree, Partey's injury problems are a concern. You rotate them, you bring him in, so, absolutely. But. I'm not sitting here losing my head because we didn't get Basuma. I'm like, okay, that's a shame, but go get Tiedemann, go get Jesus. We've been linked with Rafinha. Go get a fullback. Those, for me, are the priorities. And it, Arsenal are slow. They're ditherers in this market. That's where I'm frustrated. That Jesus and Tiedemann should be easy deals to do and would take forever to do them. That's Jesus. where the frustration is. Jesus, you know what I mean? I'm seeing Liverpool. Oh, listen, I know Liverpool, Champions mm. League finalists, doing the Champions League. They got a Darwin Nunes. Look how tough a deal that is to get done. It's done, mm. right? City for the season. Yeah, I early, agree. Early in Haaland, done. Alvarez, done. Mm. Hey Zeus, not a difficult deal to be done, surely. Obviously, they're haggling over the money. I'm not saying that you just go and give City what they want immediately, but come on, get this deal done so we don't lose yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're well, used to it, but it's not. But it's not even just when it comes <clears> to signing players it's letting them go we're going to talk about Torreira in a bit I mean that seems like a bit of a messy situation we can't seem to sell players you know you've got Bellerin you've got how many players have we just cancelled contracts I mean our, our general running of the transfer market for 15 years plus has been absolutely horrendous yeah, and, and now fans we're are terrible to have in enough. transfer windows yeah fans are starting to have enough of it and but, oh, I'm sorry let me just do a few yeah, there's loads it, yeah. of super chats and mm. comments and that piling up here I thank everybody for sending them in um, brilliant. Um, let me do this one first. It's not a super chat. It's from just from some of the general comments as well. Mm. He says, uh, as a Tottenham fan, this is Jake. He says, Basuma is a massive signing for us. Brilliant player. Can't wait to watch him. Um, but saying you don't care is stupid because if it was on the other way around, you'd be happy. That's what he's saying. Um, uh, Babby's, um, Baby Lama says, um, Arsenal have fallen. World-class players who support Arsenal would rather play for Spurs than Arsenal. Um, going over to the super chats, Nicholas says, "Don Robbie, lead the change, lead the charge on Basuma." Uh, no real likes from journalists. Sorry, Rob, but you must wake up. We have a bigger problems um, than backup than a backup DM. It wouldn't be just a complete backup. I play start loads of games, in my opinion. Uh, Sarfak yeah, yeah. says, um, "Robbie, don't you think the Ganabri situation?" Is like Goretzka a couple of uh, years ago when his agent was peddling him everywhere only to sign an improved contract. Could happen. It happens all the time. Paul Surin says, um, Robbie, why would Arsenal get Basuma, who's having a serious court case hanging over him? Um, we should not go after or be linked to players with assault acquisitions, no matter the quality of the player. But it's innocent until proven guilty, Paul. Right? And at the moment... He's not been proven guilty, and if he's proven guilty, I'm sure that Tottenham will have something in there that will just cancel off that deal, right? And they're not stupid. But if he's innocent, then he's free to play. Uh, Raul says, uh, Basuma is a great player for a cheap price, and he clearly wanted to join. I simply made too much... It simply made too much sense for Arsenal. I get that one entirely. Dave Jordan says, thanks, James, for being reasonable. Robbie thinks that Arsenal have, the, have a money tree um, like the Don does in his back garden. I wish I did. I'd buy this club if I had that. 
Cronkay since 2018 has been generous to be fit. Generous. No, I, dis I disagree with that last bit, but thank you, for your, thank you for your support. <laughs> Clint <laughs> says, um, oh. Robbie doesn't understand Arteta football, James. Maybe I don't. Explain it's it to his me. comment. Explain it to me, because you keep going on about that as well. That like, you know, uh, it's again, not, you know, so maybe you can, you can break down to me. In a, in, a, in a perfect world, I'd love, yeah, Partey, Basuma lining up together. God, that'd be great. What a midfield partnership that would be. And then you can have a number 10, exactly. and you can have your winger. Yeah, Order. that'd be brilliant. But Arteta, listen, okay. Again, um, before you, want... you get to it, quite a few, they're piling up these super <laughs> chats. Um, GMS says, uh, just saying, how does it, that bodes for Spurs and their fans eulogising over Basuma? After he openly retweets and takes pictures with Arsenal, he's a great sign. He wants to be a red. Uncomfortable conversations. Word to the cat. Oh, listen. How does it bode with them? Ask him about Harry Kane, right? Because he's an Arsenal fan and he had pictures with him at the Arsenal parade and that. You think they care? He's banging in the goals for them. That's what they care about. They don't give a toss, right? Shref says, James, um, that's what Conti does. Achieve top four. Um, crib about the squad he's forced Levy to show ambition um, all yeah. reality will we'll, in all reality we'll just get a striker or Yuri but five subs is a game changer we may end up having to retain Torreira and Pepe yeah. um, Aaron says uh, loving the Don's reactions I agree with Mr. Stats <laughs> that's you yeah but then <laughs> he says the but I'm firmly <laughs> with the <laughs> oh, well, who are you agreeing with? Because he says, I'm firmly with the Don. I love that. So who's he with? Is he with we, me or is he with you? Yeah. Uh, Amiyako says, uh, Robbie's ball knowledge is poor at times. James is spot on. Why spend 30 million on a backup for Thomas Partey? Could put that money towards Tielemans. That's the problem with us. Uh, see that? That's the problem with us at Arsenal. That's what we've been... We've been... It's, it's like... That's what we've been reduced to. I'm, I'm not disrespecting you, bro. But it's just a, we're always weighing it up. City go and get it done. Chelsea go and get it yeah. done. Right? They're not, you know, they look on it and they say, those two players, you fight but to see who's. Jack Grealish, 100 million pounds, has been on the bench most of the season for Man City. Because even though he's, you know, he was brought in to, you know, obviously make a difference, but you also, you have competition. You have competition. That's what big clubs do. Salah, Mane, Jota, Diaz. Mm. Look how many players they got in, in that forward line um, at Liverpool last season. Firmino, mm. yeah. Origi. Right? They're all in because they've got a great squad. They don't turn around and say, well, we've got Mane and Salah, man. We, we, we can't go and buy Jota because where's he going to play? And there's, what, mm. what about Diaz? No, nah, I guess if we bring him in now, we might upset Mane. No, they, big did, clubs go and get to put together a great squad. Did Liverpool have other problems to address in January? I can understand, I can understand last season mm. because we only had one game because we weren't in Europe. So I can understand a smaller squad. But next season that all changes, plus the five sub rule, I'm sorry, that is a, this is the season where we have to have a good squad. But it, it, it kind of depends on where your anger's going towards, Robbie. I know we've got the super chat, so I'll make my point. I'm just going to hear yeah, there's loads of them. GYM yeah. unit says, uh, agree with James. We need to. We need two number eights, not another DM. We already have three DMs in Partey, Lokonga. Lokonga's not a DM. And Elneny. Elneny is not really a DM in my deep line player, but not really a DM in my books either. And Xhaka can play there too. How has it gone? You basically want a midfield Robbie, destroyer. we know you love Basuma, but give us a break with this um, no space. Does it mean nonsense? How, how, where has that got us? Oh, I think that, we, we have no space. Oh, we have no the squad, space. Right. There we go again. No space. Get rid of one of those in there and put him in. Basuma would have been an improvement. You said it yourself, didn't you? You yeah. said it improves us. Yeah, uh, improves our depth, yeah. Um, Wayne says, says, you won't complain that Arsenal can't get enough of our players or sell players, then complain that Arsenal refused to sell Torreira for less than half we want 
for the player. Well, I, we're going to touch a, on I, that. I get, what I get what Wayne's saying. I get what Wayne's saying. It's a fair point. Nathan says, um, how many more years do we have to put up with this mediocrity? We moved to the Emirates to compete with Europe's elite. I'm sick of it. Exactly. Yeah, fair point. Uh, Yasavi says, uh, what do you think about having Torreira as a backup midfielder for Granite? I think it will improve. No, 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 no. They, they, these guys have had their chance, man. In my books, they've had it. They've had their chance. And where has it gotten us? Since Granite Xhaka has been at Arsenal, we've not played in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Um, Maddie says uh, the Don needs to stop being humble and buy Arsenal. Well, I wish. No, I was laughing. Aaron DWH says five years with no um, Champions League. Um, it's like a trophy drought. Joss says, um, it's boring now, Robbie. We need to act like a big club. Buy Basuma for 25 million. That is so cheap. Even if he's on the bench, he's the future from Partey. What an able backup he would have been to Thomas Partey, man. He'd been unbelievable. And not even backup, he can come in and start games. Yeah. That's just what we need. Okay. Would you... Okay. I don't know how else to explain. We, we disagree. Fair enough. A lot of people in the comment section disagree, and that's fair enough. I've not once said I don't rate Basuma. I rate him very, very highly. I'm not criticizing Tottenham. It's a great deal for them. Not even for them, for anyone. It's a great signing. He improves them. They've done great business. But what I'm saying is, if we are just having, having to accept that Arteta is going to start the season, and what we've learned about two and a half years under Arteta is that Partey is his holding midfield, is his guy. Not just because he breaks up play. Yeah, he does that sometimes. That's not his main thing. He's always played to hold it. Mostly. Mostly. Like, by far more than he's played any other position for Arsenal. He's been our one lone holding midfielder. He's our Rodri. He's our Fabinho. Fernandinho before Rodri arrived. He's playing that role. It's to get it off the back four and goalkeeper and to play forward. Basuma, I think, can do that. But if you've got Basuma, he's not coming into the squad to do that because you've got Partey. Now, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, do I want the Cronkies to go, here you go, chest unlimited budget take what you want yeah of course then bring in basuma add him and make him your your backup and great that's brilliant i would love that but it's not million. but 25 million is not nothing i know i know we're kind million. of used so, to i know i know last season he's not gone for seven they wanted like 40 million 25 million is nothing for a player of basuma's caliber who's played for years now mm -hmm. in the premier league is considered by many to be one of the best defensive players in the league 25 million is nothing. I mean, lay down the law, says Robbie, you whining. Arteta doesn't rate Basuma. You're probably right. Maybe. I don't think he does. I don't think he does because to me, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. I want depth in the team, but I don't want it more than I want the starting 11 to be improved. Tielemann comes in, improves the starting 11. He takes Granit Xhaka's spot for me. Uh, Gabriel Jesus comes in, starts over Eddie and Ketia. That's improving the squad. Rafinha comes in, improves the starting Who's 11. Who's he start over? Rafinha. Yeah. Then you, you alternate then between Saka and Martinelli. Rafinha, I'll, I'll alternate now. Yeah, Rafinha, I'll alternate now, yeah. Rafinha is an upgrade to the starting 11. He is. He starts for us. So he starts with, over who? Saka? Mm, yeah, probably or Martinelli and then Saka on if the If anything, left. we need him less. Or, I love Rafinha, but if mm. anything, we need him less because we've got... Saka. The squad lacked goals last year. At the moment, we still, the, the moment no, we still the got squad, Pepe. The squad couldn't score goals. What are you talking about? He scored, this, I think Saka scored more or less the same the goals. The squad, as, the team as, couldn't. That's why we no, want Tiedemann. He's Saka, good. He can create. Yeah, he can score goals. I'm not about now. You said Rafinha. Rafinha yeah. scored more or less the same amount of goals as what Saka did last year. Yeah. So if you're talking about what we need more, I think we need Basuma more than we need Rafinha. Rafinha improves us in the final third, 100%. And, he and Basuma receive, re improves us in that Basuma, defensive midfield Basuma position. Basuma under Arteta, and I'm going to stress this under Arteta, again, if you had a different manager, it'd be different, and I'd be cool with it. But Basuma under Arteta would only play one position. He's not going to play as one of the eights. He's not going to re receive the ball and create and score goals. I think he's got three goals and two assists in and all the years he's played in the Premier League. Who? Basuma. He's not bought for goals. Exactly, but that's what we need. We need goals from midfield. How many goals Granit Xhaka scored we last need, we, Exactly, but that's why I want to replace Granit Xhaka. Tielemann comes in and replaces him. He's an upgrade. Rafinha comes in Eddie. and adds to the front three. Eddie Akatuski. Aki, how do you pronounce that? Uh, Akatuski. Akatuski. 
with a super chat. I feel to give you your money back. Right? <laughs> Listen to what he says. Yeah. Real Madrid got Chukamani, despite having Casemiro. To Romani, okay. despite having Casemiro. They have no other, if very little, <laughs> other flaws in their 11 to address. They got a lot of money, may I say. And he doesn't start over Casemiro. But they still got him. He's one of the highest rated defensive midfielders, young players in Europe, right? They've got Casemiro, who's probably, you know, considered the best or in the top two or three defensive midfielders in Europe. And they still went and got another one in that position. And it's yeah. competition for places. They didn't turn around to him and say, well, you know what? You might not play. Wesley says, you lot ain't Real Madrid. He's right. Well, we're not Real Madrid. I'd love us to be, we should be aspiring to be like those teams. Of course we should be. Well, that's what I'm saying. Um, Touch of Awesome said, I'd have preferred Basuma for 50 million than Ben White for 50 million. Um, Hadi says, I'm with James, but we paid 21 million for Sambi Lakonga. Then, then that <laughs> is a fair point. If you, this is my thing, right, guys? I'm not sitting here going, I don't want Pesuma. That's it. Case closed. I'm trying to look at the situation you we're mean, in. I'm trying rumbled. to look. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look at the context of you the situation. Rumbled, you mean rumbled? What does Matt rumbled mean? Uh? What does rumbled mean? You mean ru in other words, you mean you know you, you're now under pressure. Max Ross says, "How is Man United beating us to the <laughs> beating us to Anthony and Neves?" We finished above them. I rate Anthony higher than Rafinha and Neves um, is Premier League proven. Well, listen, I just feel that we need, we got players in those positions, good players. I just feel that in the defensive midfielder position, we need to strengthen. Um, is Lee you... Grover says, uh, James just trying to do mental gymnastics to justify the club's inaction. Basuma would have been perfect for Arsenal alongside Tielemans and Partey. Stop it. Uh, Wayne Sage says the fan base does this every transfer window. Obsesses over one player. If we didn't sign him, it's a disaster. Last window, it was Buendia. Before it was Awa. Before that, it was Awa. Before that, it was Envia. I remember Envia. That was another defensive midfielder that we needed. It's our fan base and, obsession. Now listen. And look where they've all gone. Buendia, remember last season? I, I remember I said I, I wasn't, I didn't really want Buendia. Yeah, fair play. I didn't want Buendia, I said, you know, yeah. so don't put me in that bracket. The Hosimo R thing, mm. at the time we needed a midfield player, so I, I could agree. understand why people were losing. I think it over today that. we still need an hour. And I'm not saying he's good enough. We need an hour type more than we well, need a Basuma type. It? That's what I hope Tiedemann's in for. Uh, yeah. VJ says, I agree with James. Man City and Liverpool can do so much transfers because they don't need to strengthen their squad as much. Um, DR, you said we need seven players, and I agree um, with that. But I, but I agree to that, but without Basuma. I'm sorry, I just feel... You know, you know what it is? I, I, I hear where James is coming from on the money front, but I just feel that we need Basuma. That, that, to me, should be a priority, that position. Can I read this one? Super chat from Tom. James, you're contradicting yourself. And I think this is a point you were making, to be fair. Rafinha can be rotated, but Basuma isn't needed. No, bro. Liverpool have Jota, Mane, Salah, Diaz, Firmino, and now Nunes. Tom, I completely agree. All the best sides have depth and quality. you probably got two or three quality players for four or five positions. That's what Liverpool have got. And Arsenal need to get to that level. But my point is, when Arsenal have... Arsenal's problems last season were scoring goals. We didn't score nearly enough. Nowhere near enough. We were so, like, we had games where we won by three or four, but it, kept, it was so rare. And then whenever we went a goal behind, we couldn't find the creativity and inventiveness to pull ourselves back in it. So I think the forward line needs to, ad needs to be addressed, and we need to have creativity in midfield. Now, do we need, do Arsenal need a Basuma? Yes, they do, but not more than they need the other positions. So while everyone else is losing their heads because we didn't get Basuma, like, I get the frustration he's gone to Tottenham and they're doing biz business and they, they're they doing brilliant things and I'm jealous of that. But I don't think he was... He wasn't the priority. He wasn't. Going into the summer, he wasn't. All right. Should have made him priority. Eric says, Mr. Stats, Basuma is better than Partey. I don't agree with that, actually. He says he's also fit. He's not. He, he had a lot of injuries last season as well, Basuma, by the way. Pass and shoot. Check your stats. Stop saying Basuma will be back up for Partey. I think Partey is a better all-round player than Basuma but we should have both. Christopher says, Kroenke is looking at the 2024-25 Champions League changes where 
top four could be top five when Newcastle will come into play and other teams that might catch us up. Um, Kyle says, uh, Gabriel Jesus plays in a team with tons of playmakers, but scores little. Imagine him in Arsenal with limited creativity. Tielemans' creativity um, took Leicester City to 10th. Actually, they finished eighth. They finished eighth. They won the <laughs> FA Cup the year before he scored the winning goal. And yeah. they came on the brink of top four, actually closer than Arsenal got in the two years before. So let's yeah. put some respect. Aaron 88 yeah, says, uh, you man are cracking me up. Clint Mills says, uh, we don't play with a traditional defensive midfielder. It's position play, which is what you're saying. Sort of, um, yeah. VJ says, on top of that, um, Basuma would not want to join a club when he can't guarantee to start, when he can guarantee to start a Spurs. Come on, Robbie, it isn't FIFA 22. All love. It's not, he's not a guaranteed starter at Spurs. No. No, I think him and Benton No, VJ, could you, you've got Benton Core, you've got Hoiberg. Hmm. Skip will come back into things. Not guaranteed. He starts at Spurs. I think he will. Him but it's Benton not guaranteed. And if we had Jonathan Conte, Jackson, if we had Conte, he'd start at Arsenal as well. Yep. Yeah. Tom says, uh, oh, missed that one. I did, oh, did that one. Hmm? Is there one I read? Okay. Yeah, we've got 46 Suchek minutes. Or um, could be a good fit, says uh. um, Paul Surin. That's because people are so upset about it, James. That's why they're so upset about it. Um, did we do this one? Young Gunner, we need squad depth and a better quality off bench. Buying a player in the mould of Partey and a progressive number eight would improve our midfield. Also, we need a striker and a versatile forward. Um, Troy M says the difference is Robbie is speaking to what should happen with a club of the size of Arsenal James is speaking to what will happen <laughs> Arsenal is too big to settle for complacency at a current level I think, there's some, I think there's some truth to Troy. What, what Troy is saying, you're basically saying, forget everything we know about Arsenal, their setup, yeah. the owners, everything. We should be signing Basuma. Now with that, Robbie, I agree with you. But with this, with the, with the context of Arteta, the way he wants to play his teams, he's not going anywhere. The Cronkies, we know they're not the biggest spenders, although they have spent over the last five, six years. I think that goes under the radar. I'm going, not okay, enough. sure, agree. But then I'm going, okay, then Basuma's not a priority. Players one, two, three, and four are. I'd rather Zinchenko, Tielemann, Jesus, and a wide forward, that, that marquee, whether it be Rafinha or Gnabry, I'd rather them over Basuma. I okay. think all of them strengthen Arsenal more than Basuma does. Okay. And then says, Partey and Tierney can't stay fit. We need backup. Amri says, uh, Robbie, you once mentioned Sabitza as a possible uh, sign-in. As an Austrian, I don't rate him. And the Premier League is too fast-paced for him. Interesting. We were linked with him last season. We were linked with him again this season. He looks like he could be leaving Bayern Munich. Hasn't gone great for him, has He it? hasn't gone way, well for him at all since he's joined there from RB Leipzig. Um, Gerald, Geraldo Reed says... Best super chat of the day. Basically, James is saying, is there a more... Is there... Is there are more... I think he said basically James is saying there are more important issues to address address those first and then fine uh, Sangara from PSP from PSV is similar to Basuma. Similar Geraldo to Basuma. It's taken me 48 minutes to say exactly it, that it, Sangari will be more, more probably about the same sort of price as Basuma and we don't know yet if he would be good enough for the Premier League because he's not Premier League proven like Basuma his Basuma's been in the Premier League for quite a few years now. He knows it inside out and he's good. Sangara, we heard he's good in the Dutch League. We don't know well what we don't know yet what he will do in the Premier League. So I'm I would sooner buy Basuma if it was down to me. Uh Librova says what happens when party gets injured? Sambi long season, short break, World Cup, etc. Basuma is Premier League proven. We need creativity, a steal, and steal, sorry, in the midfield. Uh, Tom says, James, thank you for your explanation. My frustration is that 25 million for a proven premiership player is simply a no-brainer. I'm with you, Tom, a no-brainer. No-brainer. The True Gunners TV says, uh, question, where are the majority of football matches won or lost? Midfield. So if party gets injured again, then what? Why can't we have both him and Basuma raise the standards? Yeah. Uh, Mohammed sure. says, I get the Basuma frustration, but if we get Tielemans, 
Would he get enough game time with Partey and Tielemans being in the two with Lokonga and Xhaka as backup? We don't play with two holding midfielders. You come in, you earn your place. We don't. We don't play with two holding midfielders. So I don't know if that's even addressing the super chat. I heard two. We don't. We don't. Anyway, Robin, in an ideal world, I would love Lokonga to go on loan and play. I'd love um, El Nenny to have not been offered the new deal. He can move on. Fine. And then you can get Basuma, and then brilliant, everyone's happy. But it, it's not an ideal world. That's not the situation Arsenal are in. Now, if you want to complain about the Cronkies and all that, cool, I've got all the time for that. But that's not the situation Arsenal are in. What are you well, smiling about? What are you really? No, because I hate you because you're too sensible. <laughs> well, see what I mean? I'm, I'm just right trying to be realistic. Right, I mean, you know, also, <laughs> um, <laughs> Maddie says, uh, this is a nice one. He says, improvements yeah. at AFTV's lineup should be the real news with the old boys, aka troops, out. James and Turkish have really stepped up. Wouldn't mind a new manager though. Robbie out. Hey, I didn't see that last week. <laughs> <laughs> I read it earlier. Oh, you said this is a nice one. I thought. I oh, said a nice one because I thought it shot. nice one about James. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, man, man. Big up, big up, man. I like that one. Um, Juice World says, "Are you streaming the fixtures?" Um, streaming the fixtures announcement tomorrow thank yeah. you very much for reminding for that juice well we are so we're going to be here at nine o'clock um uk time tomorrow live um we're going to have the fixture we're actually going to have the fixtures before nine o'clock but unfortunately we've sort of got an embargo where we can't give people the fixtures before you know they actually it's nine o'clock they have to go out but we are going to be here at nine o'clock and we will be giving you Arsenal's fixtures so make sure you check that out nine That'll o'clock be fun. till we we'll be here again, isn't it? me and you again me and you again yeah. nine in the morning so we played James. in August we should have got Basuba <laughs> um, first game of the season Man City away told you we should have got Basuba we needed yeah. two holding midfielders I told you um, uh, can I just read this comment really quickly from Chris it says Partey can play the eight come on James Chris I agree yeah he can play the eight Arteta's never played I think once in pre-season he's never played him there so, so that for me is just out of my head um, there was another oh yeah uh, Tishego says James is frustrated because he agrees with you all but he's being realistic that's exactly it Tishego I, I agree I want what you want but I'm just like I've almost just accepted that that, you know, that just you, ain't happening well, the, see that's a problem we shouldn't accept it okay so no, let's no, go no. protest outside the Emirates then well we, we've done that but I think we should voice our frustrations at this I truly do believe, you know, Arsenal fans voicing their frustrations at this whole Busuba thing, that will get through to Edu and Arteta and they will realise well, that fans are feeling frustrated at the moment and hopefully that kicks them into some action. Do you believe and Arteta's we're not about frustrated. Marquinhos, yeah. who's a 19-year-old kid, which is an easy signing to get done. Right, I'm come talking a bit later. about the big things yeah. that need to get done. Let me, let me just... Yeah, yeah. So many so, super yeah, chats today. Thank you so unbelievable. Thank you. And, yeah. um, Iboli says uh, we might end up getting Arthur on the cheap. Remember Arthur? We were after him in uh, in um, January. Yeah. Um, yeah, my brother says we will be explaining away decisions again when Tielemann signs with Newcastle instead of us. Oh, don't say that. Um, Epictetus says, uh, I'm a Spurs fan. James Basuma isn't always starting at Spurs. Hoiberg had his second best DM stats in the Premier League last season, according to who scored. Mm -hmm. um, but yet still they've gone and got Basuma. Bob Jones says, uh, Jesus should be our priority number one. He's experienced with Arteta. He works really hard on on defence also depth 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 watch Tierney take um, Diaz Mane out of the same Liverpool match the backups are not the same Samuel says Arsenal should sign Robbie and give him the 14 shirt Robbie would be better a striker than Bentner oh boy Nicholas Bentner he was gonna he was gonna oh, I, well, I don't know where are we <laughs> 54 minutes on the scene. <laughs> I told you it's a hot topic, man. I it's get a hot it. topic. And when you told me that you said to me earlier, when we was doing some filming down at mm. um, Hampstead Eve earlier, mm. and you told me that you don't care that we haven't signed Basuma, I was fuming. I was like, what? I care that he's gone to Tottenham. I don't, I don't care that we've not signed him. I care that he's gone to Tottenham. <sighs> and there is Honestly, a slight difference. I think that guy said it all. We've got to stop acting... We should stop just, uh, I, 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 as I said, you know what? I said it about half an hour ago. I, hopefully I look like an idiot. 
And, you know, when the transfer window finishes, people replay back this video and they say, boy, Robbie, see, you were jumping the gun. You just hold on. Because it is still early in the window, but I just... No. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit worried, James, because... First of all, the rumours coming out about Arteta yeah, yeah. being angry. Mm -hmm. Where have those come from? He's angry at the inaction. And then there's inaction. And then I see things like this happening, and I'm like... Robbie, something up. Is something wrong? I'm, I'm with you there. Hey, Zeus. Yeah. Why is that not done yet? I, there's a few little things starting to worry me a bit. I, I ain't lying. Was it, did we do the stream together? I told you that there's a journalist, uh, I won't say his name, but very, you know, mm. big, big journal. Uh, and I asked him years ago, like five, six years ago about Arsenal and the transfer window. And he always said Arsenal are the biggest ditherers. He just said of any club, they just take forever to do things. Same, now, I've spoken Rob, to agents who have said yeah, the same thing. R Robbie, I'm with you. Arsenal have made a poor start to this window. No one out. We've got all these loan players coming back. We don't know what we're doing with. And we've not even been able to get players with a year left on their deal who want to come to the club through the door. That is poor. I'm as frustrated about that as you and Turkish. You know, that, that is shocking. That's borderline abysmal because Arsenal need to react quick after missing out on top four. Get these players in early so they can have a proper pre-season. I'm, I'm with you on all that. We're, you know, Orlando, we want to be seeing these players getting ready. I get that. I, well, I, I just don't think Basuma is the one that makes me lose my head. Now, if we lost Helaman to Spurs, a player that I think we really, really need, who I think immediately elevates our creativity, our, uh, our ability to retain possession, our ability to dominate games, we lost him to Spurs. Yeah, I'd, I'd be losing my head over that because I, th I think he could be perfect for us. Basuma, I just think, all right, we've got Partey. Who, who didn't, uh, I'm not saying who didn't, but El Nenny, you wanted to give him a new deal, right? Yeah, I said give him a new deal. Well, if we're raising the standards and we're saying, no, see you later, we're going to go get Basuma and he's going to be the backup. Lukonga, you've not no, really been up to scratch, uh, you're I going think, on loan. But I think we should have um, El Nenny as well as um, Basuma. That's a big squad. But I would then move on Xhaka. If I bought in Basuma in, Xhaka. if I bought Basuma in, I'd be then saying to Roma or one of them clubs, if you want Xhaka, give us 15 ja to 20 Xhaka, million, we'll take it. Xhaka last season was asked to do a role that doesn't come naturally to him. He was asked to get forward more, a bit more box to box, you know, and it, it didn't come naturally to him. So that's why I want Xhaka's Zinchenko. Xhaka's been here for five years. Yeah, yeah I mean, of course. It, that's why I want a Zinchenko as well. I think I think Tiedemann and Zinchenko I'm not saying they're perfect I'm not saying suddenly Arsenal are brilliant but I think they're gettable I think they improve our midfield I think they give us depth I think they can play in multiple positions Basuma under Arteta I stress under Arteta would only have played Partey's position he wouldn't have played anywhere else he just wouldn't have yeah, but that's what we need him for what to play Partey's position we need to play him as a defensive midfielder okay then we lack in that position move Partey. and as I said in particular when we're playing certain teams um, I think we've we have was play absolutely. All right, so let's yeah. give you, I'll give you another example, right? Mm -hmm. So we play in the Europa League, mm -hmm. yeah. And at the weekend, f the following Sunday, we've got Liverpool. Yeah. Wouldn't it be good to play Basuma? I love that. Play Basuma on the Thursday. Yeah. Keep party, wrap him up. He plays on the Sunday. Okay. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd love that. No, but what we're going to do? We're going to say to party, yeah, you play on the Thursday and on the Sunday. No. Squad, yeah. squad. Mm. Um, Zlatan of God says, uh, Arsenal are in the third year of a process, but couldn't extend N Enketia's deal. And the way we've handled Maitland yeah. Niles, if Partey is injured, we have El Nenny. <laughs> Listen, uh, Arsenal are doing says, some bad business. Don't get me wrong. All love to James. Please don't let this club stress you into lowering your standards. Keep up the good work. I usually agree with you 99% of the time, mate. C no, he doesn't say this time. Mm -hmm. uh, C Law AFC says all this talk of Tielemans is just for us to rock up first game of the season with Xhaka and El Nenny starting. That yeah. wouldn't surprise me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ro Rohif says I agree with James Basuma would be a great signing, uh, but ha but perhaps Arteta doesn't rate him. I don't think he does, to be honest. Uh, have to use him despite what the fans think. This is the small club mentality that leads Arsenal to Arsenal's downfall, like Graham said. KSE out. Um, Benny says uh, you got ten dollars and nine dollars worth of bills. Do you buy three dollars, three dollar candy bar? Um, that's what's going on here. We've got a budget and upgrades 
to do before the luxury items. Exactly. Don't get mad at the person who's only got Basum $10. Get mad at the pe person who's given him Basum $10. Basum is not a luxury item. It's an essential. Um, mm. Aaron88 says, first time I've seen Robbie hurting with the owners. I'm always hurting with these owners. Um, Eddie Goak says, uh, I agree with Don. Basuma for 25 million is a no-brainer. Great at dribbling, shooting and passing. He can literally do it all. He's a top player. I'll keep saying that because I think people are missing that point. I rate him very highly. So, in other news. <laughs> yeah, he just wanted to quickly, I know we've sort of run over time a bit. <laughs> I mean, just so quickly on, on... I'll be honest. I mean, uh, it's been a good discussion. Thank you, Robbie. Yeah, well, you, you um, was going to mention, was it Torreira? Well, uh, Torreira put out a statement. He's clearly not happy. We won't go into it all, but I just yeah. wonder what's going to happen there. Um, you know, um, I, I, well, I, yeah, I spoke about it a bit on this morning's Transfer Daily. If you haven't had a chance, watch that. But basically, he's very unhappy with Fiorentina because yeah. they had an option to buy him. He had a great loan there. They told him, yeah, we're going to take up the option. And then they've changed their mind. And Didn't they make a bid for under what the option was? Yeah, yeah. Knowing yeah. that Arsenal were going to tell them to get lost, which Arsenal are quite right to do because they want to recoup money back. And um, yeah, he's... It, we're going to sell him. There's a lot of other clubs that are interested in him, but I think he really wanted to go to Fiorentina. He was enjoying his time mm -hmm. there. Um, but yeah, it's one of those players. Him, Bellerin, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, Bern Leno. There's quite a few players that we, we, we're going to have to... Pepe, what happens with him? If Rafinha does come, that's the end of Pepe, surely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'd think. Some um, loads of Super Chats still flying in. Zlatan the God... Um, Great name. Says, James, if Partey gets a big injury, he's an injury-prone player, I agree. Also dependent on Elneny. James, why do you want a backup left-back? We have Tavares like Elneny. <sighs> a, Elneny isn't <laughs> as unpredictable as Tavares. I think the one thing we like about Elneny is that, you know, he's never kind of below a five or a six, but he's never also... Not good enough, He's though. rarely... So when why do you, you want to give him a new deal? You, you give him a give new him... contract because he's a backup player that if, in, you know... You've he's got a backup to Partey. You've got a Europa League game... You can throw him in. You've got, but in the big, you just tell me like we got Liverpool at the weekend or Man City. Yeah, and then he's going to be good enough. No, so that, that's where you need a Basuma. Akash says Dybala, uh, Jesus, Tielemans, Gnabry, Hickey, and Basuma are all signings we can get, and we sit here accepting bang average crap. Raise the standards, Arsenal fans. And do you know the other thing? The other point I want to make. Um, and I, I spoke about it this morning on my show and it's about reading the room sometimes mm. now i know you shouldn't and you most definitely shouldn't just always just go and buy signings based off of just trying to make fans happy like man united have done that a lot in it you see with pogba now a player that he bought for 90 odd million that he, you know they've they've done it over and over and over again mm -hmm. right they did it last season but i do feel with arsenal the way the season ended with the disappointment of the capitulation and not getting the top four, I thought it was important, this transfer window, to yeah. get off to a good start. Yeah. Get a Jesus in. Get the fans excited. Get, you know what I mean? Or Tielemans, get them in, whoever those two, get them in early. Yeah. So fans are like, you know what? All right, man. Yeah, I like, this is what Tottenham fans are doing at the moment. Us, with expressions earlier, he's rubbing his hands together. He's like, ah, oh, you know? T Basuma's coming now. Yeah. We've got forced a goal. He goes, I've never seen Tottenham do business this early. I'm excited, he said. He, he, you know, we, we've got, who was it? Um, Perisic. Whereas with us, it's the same old slow, differing yeah, yeah. thing. So that's why the frustration, probably I'm maybe slightly overreacting on the Basuma thing, but it's the frustration of the same old dead slow transfer bit and they haven't read the room mm -hmm. fans are frustrated so one of those signings get them in I know the Nations League was on mm -hmm. didn't stop Liverpool did it they yeah. still got the Darwin Nunes thing done didn't stop City hasn't stopped Tottenham hasn't stopped Villa from getting certain signs so I just don't think sometimes that you know Marquinhos yeah looks well done I'm not excited about that because it's a kid. And they're not reading the room here at all. Yeah, I agree. The Arsenal fans are still hurting for how the season finished. 
but they are behind Mikel Arteta, but we want to be excited. Josh Kroenke said, be excited, yeah. we are not. Mm -hmm. That's the message right now, we are not excited, and you are not making us excited at this moment, you're making us even more frustrated. Yeah, it's been a poor start to the window. When, when that report came out that Arteta apparently, listen, and uh, I can believe I, it now. At first, yeah. I, at first, yeah, at first I was a bit you weren't skeptical. Sure, yeah. Now I'm starting to believe it. No, I, I, I thought it kind of makes a bit of sense. I think mm. he'd have wanted to have made a statement. I think he knows the. I think. Well, I think he knows that especially that front line needs some serious surgery and work. Mm. And we haven't even been able to announce and get his contract. I mean, Turkish asked a great Turkish asked a great like question me. the other day. You know, yeah. what is it? Does he want more than 100 k a week? You know, I'm not go get what you can get. But my point is, I saw a picture of the, his, so on his Instagram. He's he's on holiday in Miami, running on the beach. He's in was it Miami or Mallorca? Was it Miami or somewhere? I thought it was Mallorca. Right. Anyway, but but why, why is that not done? Why is that yeah. not been announced? And Ar and Arsenal are right to be really frustrated about this. Yeah, Arsenal fans are right to be really frustrated about the lack of business. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to do the last couple comments here on Super Chats um, because I know you've got to go. <laughs> We're keeping you. So good. Right, well, I know, um, no rush. Apu, nah, there's no rush. I'm Apu says, uh, when you Google Arsenal transfer news, you get the result not happening, bro. <laughs> but seriously, yeah. the only way Basuma's situation would explain itself would be if Arsenal had to uh, had the info on a court case. Cheers from India. But then if that is true... Why would Tottenham sign him? Um, do you think if Arsenal had one or two really exciting signings through the door, do you think you'd feel differently about it? I would do. Do you think you'd go, do. oh, it's a shame he's gone to Spurs or whatever? I would do. I'd be, I'd be like, oh, man, we should have got him. But you know what? We've got Rafinha. We've bought in Tielemans. Oh, cool. mm. yeah. At the moment, I'm just like, yeah. So I think, I think, I think that... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need a new table, Brendan. Um, Robbie, I, th I think that in itself clears everything up. If, if we if we get to the end of this window and we've not really signed the midfielders I think we need or the forwards, we've added one or two players here and there, then yeah, my stance might be like, what? So we've only spent 50, 60 mil. We should have got Basuma, improved the squad, added depth, given us more options in midfield, and I'm with you. But I'm slightly hoping <laughs> Arsenal don't make me look an idiot and we get those players in the front line we need we get the midfielder we need hope we get the right back up at full back and I understand why the money didn't go to Basuma OK well listen thank you very much sorry Fing fingers crossed fingers crossed <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm trying to back you guys here <laughs> come, come through for me thank you very, uh, thank you very much for um, obviously, joining us today obviously Kieran says Robbie about to put James through the table WWE <laughs> style <laughs> Oh. Um, don't forget you can yeah. use the codes. Yeah, Guda huh? twenty for Guda twenty twenty for twenty percent off all merch before Father's Day. Go before check it Father's out. Before Father's Day, uh, yeah. treat your father to a nice treat. Um, What's your favourite bit of merch? I asked Turkish this. I like. I've got the Air Ramsdale T-shirt. I love that. It's class. I like that as well. Yeah, actually. it's nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. He said the Henri one. Yeah, he's classic, isn't it? Yeah. I, I like this um, Smith Rowe one. I can't find my oh, T-shirt yeah. as well. well the, I like it one. Yeah, 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 the yeah I yeah, like yeah. it one. Good, good. All right, I love that yeah. one. So um, yeah. any of that, you got the Basuma shirt. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna leave. It's been fun. It's gonna get battered. It's been good fun. James gets battered everywhere he goes. Listen, uh, don't forget to join me and James tomorrow morning. We are going to be here with the fixtures. That's going to be very interesting to see who we got. Remember last year, our murderous first three fixtures of Bournemouth, sorry, not Bournemouth, Brentford away, Chelsea and City away. We don't want nothing like that, hopefully, again. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what the, the first set of fixtures are. He's is gone. It safe, He's is it safe to come back? He's safe to come back, man. Oh. You know, it's all love, man. Oh, okay, all, all right. right, so make sure me and James are going to be here in the morning, 9 o'clock UK time live. Make sure you set that time right now. We're going to be running through the fixtures. No one's going to be doing it as comprehensive as us here um, with all the Arsenal fixtures. So make sure 9 a.m. tomorrow right here on AFTV. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Thank you very, very much for today. There's been so many of you involved, over 7,000 of you live. Um, really, really appreciate it. And um, we will see you tomorrow.